Hello everybody, I'm Derek Tepers. This is your Indie Peak at 16-Bit Trader. Unlike many of the Indie Peaks, I actually bought this one. It was in a big giant pack of like 60 or something games. Um, yeah, this is a totally, totally tablet conversion. In fact, when you launch it, the very first thing it asks is, do you want the game or the game with touch interface? <clears throat> I want the game. We're going to... Yeah, we'll start a new game. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So, you're the humble child, blah, blah, blah. People die. Things happen. Intrigue happens. Evil man, yada, yada, yada. You need... A uh, million gold. Cool. All right, so then it walks you through the beginning. Like, hey, sell your diamonds. Okay, I sell my diamonds. Sell. You can pick up quests here and there. You just click on things. Oh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. You go to Hickdor and, okay, good. Now, once you choose it, of course, now you're like, oh, well, what do I do? Oh, go away. Uh, there's a book right here that actually tell you, hey, go to Hitacore to retrieve the Duke's chest. All right, cool. Now, the whole point of the game, 16-bit trader, is to come into the trading den buy and sell so in this case food is buy uh, buy at 10 sell at 8 so if i come in here and i say i want to buy some food max bad idea because i actually need money to transit so let's go with uh let's go with 30 there we go so we're spending 300 gold to get 30 get something yep that works good yeah 300 kilograms yeah 30 gold whatever <clears throat> okay then there's the tavern. You can go to the tavern. You can be like, hire a man, fire a man, buy a beer. I'm going to buy a beer for Demeter. We're going to just buy him a beer. Um, blah, blah, blah. I have a favor to ask my family. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, good. Yes. Thank you. Appreciate it. I bought it some from him thing. Okay. <clears throat> so that's, that's pretty much it. These are the maximum you get in any particular village. Um, that's your stats. I don't know why I clicked on that. And then there's the map. Yes, go away. And the map is this. This is the, the world you live in. Um, you can go to all these different places. Some of them are bigger cities. Some of them are runes, like uh, Ragados and Narosen are mines. Uh, Zatai is a rune. Ikalin is a rune. Uh, Neblor is a rune. And Ordom is a rune. Others are these small places like Mindor or Katusker. These are smaller villages. And then there's Hitakor and the other big ones. And then stuff like uh, Bel Belash. It's got a ship. So then you can sail to Zandar. You can sail to Skillandon. You can sail all the way over the Badimbo or Muravora if you so desire. But we're going to take the short road to Mindor. Sturdy lumberjacks whose strength is great. Yes, okay, we travel there. Four days, cost me eight gold. Good. <coughs> Trip went smoothly. Excellent. So we've arrived. There's our cart. No, there's not much here. There's just a trading post. We go to the trading post. Uh, okay, that's not going to do us any good because we'd sell at eight. We'd actually lose two gold per kilogram. So that's, that's less than optimal. So we move on to Falves. And we go there, you cross up with five gold, okay. All right, let's see here. Ah, they are, oh, well, <coughs> better, better, better. So let's go back, go back to map. Uh, let's go to hit a core. Yep, and five gold across the bridge. Okay, we are now 62 gold in the hole right now, people. Let's hope we can, oh, we cannot sell, but we do have quest. Uh, yes, thank you. I will do whatever you ask me to do. Uh, quest. Uh, he's very fond of it. Okay, thank you. And no quest there. All right, we are 62 gold in the hole. We might not be able to make it very far, but we're going to try. Um, you don't have enough money. Oh, of course. So you can't run a deficit. So now I got to sell enough at a reduced rate to fund my trip. So let's go with that mount. Ugh, that's not doing us good. We have 28. All right, well, whatever. All right, eight gold. Fallen tree, delayed by four days. Filthy trees! And that's really it. Aha! We can sell, we can sell. Let's sell. Max sell. Woo! We have 260. Ah, uh, that was it. Okay. 
Let's uh, let's go back to Zintakana. Eight days, forty-eight gold. Uh oh, we're in trouble. Oh no, we're okay. Let's go here. Quest. Thank you. Ooh, 150 gold. So that's pretty much it. You literally go in each time. Ooh, I'm not going to buy at that price. And you kind of go around to each place. You hope you have enough money left in the kitty. And you look to buy low, sell high as normal. Let's go to Regodos. Trip went smoothly. We are now in Regodos and we click search. Oh, our map fell apart. I found one diamond. Well, it's better than no diamond, I guess. All right. So you get kind of used to some of the areas. Like, you know, the prices are going up right now of food. So if we had bought food, we probably would be doing even better. We didn't. We, we don't have any food to sell. <clears throat> yeah, prices are going up. So it goes cyclically, and you can kind of get used to the sickle, the sickles, the cycles. Um, if you really try. I'm at this point just trying to... Oh no, bandits! They stole us money. They stole us money? Yeah, those are words. Diamond. Sell. There you go. Uh, oh, good grief. We're obviously in an upward swing of some description. Oh no, more bandits. By the way, the bandits, they're just constant. I, it's just unreal. Sometimes you get to certain areas and you just know. Um, I don't know where I'm going. I just click yes. Help the button. Help the button. Taking on the of monastery and lack off. Okay. Um, I just click on things and see what happens. Oh, lack off right there. Okay. Um, let's see what we got here. Yeah, prices are coming down. Quest. Thanks. Oh, what's this? Thanks. Uh, and this is this is it. This is 16-bit trader. Uh, you literally spend the time traveling around trying to buy low and sell high. I have not bought a thing in forever. Prices are eh, 14. That's uh, no. Uh, in my other game I was goofing around with, I got I got did pretty well because I apparently came in at the right cycle. See, prices are moving down now. Ooh, prices are going down. Um, and sometimes you can just find, like, the sweet spot. Ooh, quest. Thanks. Uh, let's just buy some food. We don't have a lot of money. Let's go with that. And let's hope the prices are going up somewhere. Because otherwise we're in a lot of trouble. Let's go to Smag Smagalosh. And let's see if we can sell. Oh, prices are going the wrong way on us. We're in trouble. We're gonna we're gonna totally fail here, and and then everyone's gonna hate us. Yep, prices are going down. So you just have to kind of watch the cyclical prices. There are why did I click that? I don't know. Go there. Um, there are actually guides out there that kind of talk about the, how the prices cycle. So you can actually get those, and then you know when you should buy and sell the various things. I usually have concentrated on food, but clothes and carpets and porcelain are actually make pretty good money. So do the leather. That 16-bit trader, I'm, it's kind of like a chill game. Uh, I honestly don't know if it's on Google Store or Apple Store. I presume it is because it definitely feels like a tablet game. Um, but it's something to look at if it's really, really cheap. Otherwise, I'd probably say give it a pass. Still, that is 16-bit trader. The, uh, the game about being a trader. Can I go back to the... Um, no. Uh, being a trader. Not a traitor, but a trader. Yeah, that. I'm in your trouble. This has been your Indies, in, Indies Peak? Indie Peak of 16-Bit Trader. We are going to... Tarker! A hardly a village, rather a spot where wandering people gather a couple times a year. We're going there. Until next time, game on, be awesome, and have colorful wagons. I can't leave. I have no money.